you, O Christ. Please be seated. This time, and let us continue with our children's message. Uh, children at home and children here, huddle up here as we continue. I brought a, uh, a couple things out for you to see. And um, today, you know, we, we talk about in our text uh, the cornerstone of Christ. Now, this morning I was uh, going through my kids' uh, Lego bin because um, that's what I do on Sunday morning, go through their Lego bin. But uh, they're like, Dad, what are you doing? Those are mine, right? And I'm like, yeah, well, I need to teach the children today about the cornerstone. Now, when I think of cornerstone and buildings, I know my brother, he's, he is in the industry of construction and he builds a lot of things. And brother, if you're hearing this, I apologize if I totally get it wrong because I'm not a builder, except the Legos, that's all I know. But you know, with the cornerstone, you know, you got your Lego pad right here, the green thing, right? And you have all these Legos. And, you know, when I want to build a building, you always start with one piece. So you put the piece on like that, right? You see it? Like that. And from that piece, from that one piece, you start building from that piece. Without that piece right here, this block, there is no way to know how we are going to build this building. But it always begins with the cornerstone, with this one piece. Now, from this piece, we very well know, well, we, we put another block right there, right? And we connect it. And we put another block right there, and we connect it as well. But remember this, it always begins with that one piece. You see it right there? Now, I could sit here for probably an hour and have fun with Legos with you, but that would make service a little bit too long. So we won't do that today, but I want you to be reminded of my next picture here. This is in your children's bulletin. Now, if you, if you see it online, uh, tell your parents to download it for you, or if you're here, uh, go get it there um, in our, um, on our table there. But here we see the cornerstone. I don't know if you see it, but Jesus is the cornerstone, the one who is the foundation, the, the, the way to which our building is set. That here we see in this picture, what is he doing? He is, well, he is dying on the cross for our sins. Without Christ, there is no building. Without Christ, there is no salvation, there is no forgiveness, there is there is no eternal life. But because Christ is our cornerstone, because He is the peace to which we begin and end, there we know our faith. The Christ is the cornerstone, the one who died for you, the one who rose for you, the one who stood in your place so that you may be His own. That salvation is yours, forgiveness is yours, eternal life is yours, all by what he has done for you. People hated him, but still Jesus says, I love you and I'm going to die for you. People rejected the Lord, but still he said, I'm going to the cross because this is the Lord's doing. Remember that this day. Christ is the cornerstone. Let us pray. Dearly Father, we thank you for this day, O Lord. We know that by your grace, you have built to us salvation by the sending of your Son who died on the cross for our sins. Thank you, O Lord, for your love and how deep your love is that though we fall short in sin, O Lord, you bless us and lead us by the blood that was shed for us on the cross. Lead these children always in your word and bless them in your holy name. Grant them continued faith as they continue to walk in the light of your truth. Lord, for all these things, we are thankful. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, let's continue uh, with our sermon hymn, O Love, How Deep. <laughs> 